Hi, um, today we're going to talk about analysis of variance and analysis of covariance. So first, let's take a look on, at the one-way ANOVA, where we only have one categorical variable in our full model. So here we define our null hypothesis as uh, beta 1 equal to 0, and our null hy alternative hypothesis as beta 1 not equal to 0. So now let's load the data in R. And then we make these variables into a factor variables. And then we can see that um, this variable has a p-value less than 0.05. So we conclude that we reject the null hypothesis, which means there is some relationship between y and the categorical variables. So now let's take a look on the second variables. Uh, second examples where we have three levels in this uh, categorical variable. So now we can see that um, this variable is actually significantly different from zero. But uh, since we are we have three levels, so we're going to see um, which levels is, is different from um, those other two levels. So we can see that um, the p-values between level A and B is uh, less than 0.05. And the p-value for uh, between A and C is also less than 0.05. So we can conclude that uh, level A is different from level B and level A is different from level C. But we can see that um, the p-value for B and C is pretty high. So we will say that um, uh, level B is not significantly different from level C. And also we can see the actual difference. So uh, B the difference between B and A is 2.1. The difference between C and A is 2.2. But the difference between C and B is actually 0.1. So we can conclude the same result as we made in, uh, in the pair t-test. And then we can also check the, the mean. So you can see that the mean for A is 3.6. And this is these are the difference for B and C, but they aren't different from each other between level B and level C. So we can conclude that um, um, this variable is significantly different from zero, but only A is different from C and A is different from B, but B is not different from level C. So now let's take a look on the two-way ANOVA, where we have our null hypothesis as beta 2 equal to beta 3 equal to zero. And our alternative hypothesis will be either beta 2 not equal to 0 or, either, or, or beta 3 not equal to 0. So here, let's load the data to, into R. And then we're going to define our full model, where we include everything in the model. And our reduced model will only include, include the first categorical variables. So we can see that um, the p-value is less than is uh, less than 0.05 and so we can conclude that we prefer the full model than the reduced model so we will say that um, all categorical variables are and this interaction are significantly different from zero and then we can also take a look on this uh, full model you can see that um, for uh, smoke we have uh, when smoke equal to zero, the, 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 the means is different from when smoke equal to one. The same for this variable. But we can see that when we, that for, when we include the interaction, um, the interaction doesn't, uh, doesn't make the difference uh, increase. You can see that um, for smoke, this is uh, 7.6 and 6.9. This is 7.3 and 6.3, so there isn't a huge difference. And the same thing for also for and the same for this variables, 7.5 and 5.3, and this is um, 7.6 and 5.4. So we can conclude that um, all categorical variables are significantly different from zero, but the interactions are actually not. So we should not include interaction in our model. So now let's take a look where we uh, remove the interaction actually all the variables are significantly different from zero so our event our final model should only include the categorical variables without interaction
So now let's take a look on uh, a no analysis of covariance, where we have one continuous variable and one categorical variable. So now let's load the data in the system, and then you can see that um, since the p-value is greater than 0.05, so we failed to reject the null hypothesis, which means that the reduced model is actually better than the full model. So we should only include uh, this variable in the system, in, in the model, but we shouldn't in, uh, include uh, this variable, ease. But actually, in fact, in our first examples where we find that this variable is significantly different from zero, but after we include this um, continuous variables, this variables, this categorical variable actually become insignificant, so we should remove these variables when we include a discontinuous variable. So our next examples will have um, three level categorical variables. So now let's load the data in R, and then we are going to define three different models, where the full models we have everything, and the reduced model first reduced model we only include uh, this continuous variable and the second reduced where uh, models we only include both categorical variables uh, and the continuous variable but we remove the interaction so now let's take a look the analysis so we can see that only the second model is significantly different from zero so we should use the second model as our model here. So we can actually take a look at the variables where uh, everything is different from zero. And then we have the um, coefficient for other uh, variables. So our final model should be like this um, without including the interaction variables. So now let's take a look between the levels. So we can see that um, level three and level level three is different from level one since it has a p-value less than 0.05. And level three is less is different from level two, and we have a p-value less than 0.05. But level two are, is not different from level one since the p-value is greater than the point. So um, according to our analysis, we can see that um, we should include both uh, categorical variable and our continuous variable, but we should not include interaction in the model. And then we can also see that only level three is different from level one. Level three is different from level two, but level one is not different from level two. So. Um, we can make um, conclusion from all the uh, ANOVA and the analysis of covariance table. So um, thanks for watching and uh, feel free to make any comments. Um, thanks.